What's going on everybody? It's the one and only Fortex back at it with another banger. Alright, in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to connect to the online servers and NB2K22. So if you're having trouble to play in park, uh playing with your friends, uh anything like that, I hope today's video can go ahead and help you all out. Now, really quick, before we get into today's video, make sure you all hit the subscribe button, like, turn on post notifications so you all won't miss any new content coming out. For example, I got, you know, how to get free shoes, clothes, how to get free tattoos, badges, you know, how to upgrade your badges very fast and simple. And the main one that everybody be waiting for is how to get free VC on NBA 2K22. So, I'm like a glitch goat, alright, and you guys just don't want to miss those videos. So, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, like, turn on post notifications. And also, I'm giving away NBA 2K22 to three lucky subscribers. Yes, I'm giving away NBA 2K22 to three lucky subscribers. All you have to do to enter is subscribe, like, turn on post notifications, and leave a lovely comment in the comment section down below. So just go ahead, say something nice in the comment section, whatever, just leave a comment, and um, just like that, I know you guys entered. So very easy and simple. All right, and uh, let's get into today's video. So I did this video on NBA 2K21 and uh, 20 because there was a lot of problems where people just couldn't get online, couldn't play with their friends, couldn't play park, nothing like that. Anything online just wouldn't work. So um, 2K was tripping. Now people have been requesting this video, so I was like, why not come out and make another part? Since you know my previous videos helped them all out before. So Without further ado, let's get into this video. I know I probably said that already, but it's alright. Look, so, first thing you want to do is make sure you're connected to the Wi-Fi. Yes, very easy, simple. Connected to the Wi-Fi. You know, sometimes your Wi-Fi might be weak, um, not strong enough, so for that reason, it's not able to connect to the 2K servers. And if you are able to connect to the 2K servers, then you're going to be lagging out a lot and all that type of stuff. So just make sure you have a really good internet connection. Step number two, what I recommend is that you buy a LAN cable, correct? So if you buy like a LAN cable, um, it's very easy. You can buy it from like a Walmart or, you know, your local store. Just connect it from your uh, Wi-Fi box. So from your Wi-Fi, you connect one end, and then the other end you connect into your PlayStation. So it's automatically like a LAN cable. It's connecting on one way, and it's really, really good because, like, come on. The internet is just automatically from your Wi-Fi box. So... That helps out a lot. So LAN cable, trust me. I recommend a LAN cable. It downloads everything faster, gets you to the park faster, all that type of stuff. So if I were you, go ahead, get a LAN cable. All right. Step number three. All right. So for this one, what you want to do is you want to hop on 2K. Of course, you're not, you know, going to be connected to the servers, which is okay. No problem. Don't worry about that. What you want to do, go to features, and then you want to go all the way over. To the feature section because first you got options roster and then feature and once you're in the feature section what you want to do is go to credits once you're in the credits you just want to stay on this page so let's go ahead and stay on this page um usually it's like mb2k22 visual concepts all that type of stuff uh entertainment as you guys can see published by 2k 2k's publishing label all that type of stuff i'm not going to sit here and read all that so you go ahead and you stay on this page, so stay in the 2K credits section right here until an update required pops up on the bottom left of your screen. So on the bottom left, this should pop up like a yellow and black where it says update required. Once that update required pops up, they can easily back out and then right here, uh, just gonna restart. And if it doesn't restart, go ahead, close up your application. And then once you're back on 2K, you should be all good to go and it should be working fine. All right. so that's step like number one really and then what you can also go is once again features and credits and just watch it until the update requires pops up now what you want to do is step number four all right this one is also very very helpful you want to go to my career no not my career all right so right here for an example i just literally got the game a lot of people was requesting it so like, why not right so what you want to do is you guys want to go to play now and they go into blacktop. Yep. So you go into blacktop. Uh, you can play like a one on one, uh, two v two. Really doesn't matter. You know what I mean. Uh, go ahead, pick the teams, whatever it is, and um, just from there you can go ahead. Like it really doesn't mean nothing, right? Because it doesn't matter what team you pick or anything like that. You don't have to be, you know, one particular team. So once again, you go into blacktop. 
you click it and you play blacktop right so for the score so right here let me show you guys what i mean so for the score if you can just put it all the way to the max which is like let's see 50 i think hold on yeah 50 right go ahead put it on 50 why because you want to keep playing until the update required also pops up the update required notification on the bottom is really going to be your like your best friend why because once that pops up just know you're connected to the servers and boom you're working and you're ready to go all right so as i said first you can get the uh wi-fi lane cable all that that's the first two steps very easy and simple all right and step number three what you want to do is go into the features credits and just watch the credits until the update required pops up on the bottom left of your screen and then you go to play now all right and then you go all the way to the right which is the black top and just go ahead put the score to 50 and play black top until you are getting the notification on the bottom left of your screen once you get the notification go ahead quit the game and you should be back onto this you know screen right here and once you're on this screen right here you can either close up your application you know just restart it or you can just automatically be connected to the servers so these four steps are very helpful step number five what you want to do is go into the my team so you can play my team no so you're going to play play now so th same thing my team i think you have to be connected to their servers for that because you know it used to work in 2k20 and 21 it stopped working so uh i'm not really going to mention that because it's not going to work and i want everything for you guys to work so what you want to do is go into play now one more time go into quick play all right so over here is where you go and pick your teams and all that type of stuff right here right so go ahead pick any team really does not matter what team you choose right and once you choose any team you want go ahead play the game once again until you get the update required on the bottom left of your screen once you get that update required on the bottom left of your screen back out just like this back out one more time and once you're on this page very easy and simple it should be all good to go when you connect it to the online service so once again i'm gonna repeat the five, like the best four steps five steps all right so you know wi-fi lane cable and then once that i go to features credits watch that now you guys don't have to do this all at the same time all right i'm just giving you guys like step number one step number two of you know ideas because you know you can't connect to the wi-fi then go to credits and all that it really does not matter because at the end of the day you want to connect it to the servers so try these methods right here all right so you got the credits you got the blacktop section where you can go right here uh play blacktop until the update required pops up and you also got quick play until the update requires also pops up so quick play you can play you your friend uh anybody really all right try that now sometimes this is step number six and step number seven you guys must pay attention to it because it is the two main methods that also and every single time worked for me worked for me personally i'm not trying out from my subscribers you know perspective from my my subscribers you know what they said no these two actually worked for me myself so what you want to do is go ahead grab your playstation or whatever uh, playstation xbox really doesn't matter right you got 2k22 on it so you want to take that and then actually take it over to a friend's house or you know anybody else that has wi-fi why because once you connect it to their wi-fi it's kind of resetting on the playstation so technically uh once you connect it to their wi-fi you should be all good to go because you know sometimes it's a wi-fi issue that's connected to your playstation so take the playstation and connect it to a different wi-fi that's why sometimes connecting it to your hotspot may work but i don't recommend that because it's gonna be very weak and you don't want to be lagging every time you don't want to lag at the games and all that type of stuff right so go ahead take your playstation connect it at like a friend's house or something all right and guess what that should help and it helped me a lot now for the final step guys this step right here will help a hundred percent all right is you're gonna have too many accounts. So technically, same example, you made the first profile. You didn't like your username on the PlayStation or Shooter or Xbox, and then you were like, you know what? No, I don't want that. Let me go ahead and make a new profile. And then you made another player, third profile, another player, fourth profile, another player. Now 2K recognizes that and is like, nope, too many accounts, too many players. We can't do that. Too many, you know, accounts and players on the same profile. So what do you want to do is give one of your PlayStation accounts to your friend or something and let them connect on the servers for you. And once you go back on your PlayStation, you should be all good to go. So these are my steps, which I really recommend that you should do. 
um, you know, it's very helpful and all. So if these steps work for you, please let me know in the comment section down below. If they didn't, also let me know because I can make a part two. But I hope these steps worked for you. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, like, turn on post notifications, and it's been the one and only Vortex. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.